Get this, the final show on Triple M, part three. Around the nation, even Adelaide getting the full show today. What a yes. treat. Oh, Greg. the full show. Mm. Greg mm. is here. Yes. Greg Fleet is here. He's mm. preparing a bit of uh, crunk for the end of the program. Oh, yeah, a special Adelaide version crunk. But oh, I should... Is that so? Mm. I'll, no, provi- I'll provide the beats. Oh, yeah. Oh, see what he's done there. Well, we work together in Adelaide right here. The sound of the veal gardens <laughs> coming your way. Mm-hmm. I should point out, the Get This podcasts keep coming thick and fast, even while the show is being axed. Uh, <laughs> while it's being axed. Sounds like someone confessing to something as the axe is coming down on their neck. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It is a very long confession. Oh, and I stole a teacup. <laughs> Now, music. Let's talk music just for a moment because nobody does talk more about music uh, on the network than us. And our band of the year has been Root, a fine new Australian band. band. The album of the year is Root Supposed He Was Out of the Question. (laughs) Just to prove that this isn't a made-up band, why don't you get down to Melbourne, pop down to the Esplanade (laughs) front bar. Just to prove it's not a made-up band. Spend a few thousand dollars. The trouble is, as soon as we say something, people think it's made up. No, (laughs) this is a real band. It's a great band. Mm. Uh, and when the, can we see him? The seventh of December in the SB Front Bar. It's free, mm. free fun. Mm. That's what we're free? about here. And just to prove how that's supersonic fun. It certainly is. You want some supersonic fun, do you, Mister Fleet? Mm-hmm. What about a lengthy montage of some of our fine musical moments? That's too supersonic. Here we get this. Do you want to do a song? <laughs> here we go. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really wanna zing a zing. There's a big. And a sausage. Yes, yes, we have no. You're not getting one, brother. Bananas. No, we got no bananas. So don't throw your bananas away. I wanna see your bananas? Show me the bananas. You can give me some bananas. Wanna eat your bananas? Man, there's some big bananas. Some dope fresh bananas. He should have gone to NIDA, not Al Qaeda. Oh, so I read somewhere life's sweet. Yeah, now the jihad jack is off the street. Life is sweet, now Jihad Jack is off the street There's a smile on the face of everybody that you meet I've gone and got myself a great big plasma screen So thanks for that Jihad Jack I'm only having one lunch Do some actual preparation. Who could it be? Believe it or not, it's Ed Cavalier. Well, I can't believe I'm sitting here today, yeah. yeah, yeah. Picking on my banjo, big smile on my face. Then with the box of killer bees, no one knows what it all means. It's dizzy stuff. Joy Buttress Who is your favourite sailor? On YouTube there's the Meat Pie Trailer Indian Muncher Mino Reiki Fist up When I was younger Losing my hair Several years ago wasn't that when you were doing German porn? Giving Adnan Khashoggi the horn. Going to orgies, sucking some. <laughs> who could ask for more? I'm happy with podcast nights. <laughs> I'd laugh till I nearly throw up. Saw the details fall away. There's nothing for snacks or friends. There's no whole plums. There's no sign of what animal would you steal from the zoo, the zoo, the zoo. Which animal, which animal would you steal from the zoo? Maybe a sea lion or an animal that you steal from the zoo. I'm paying money. Uh, the girl's happy. She's got no money. I'm paying money. Walking through the high dry grass, pushing my way through slow. Yellow belly black snake sleeping on a barbecue. Waiting for the stranger to go. Let me go on. Like I fist up. In the sun. Let me go on. Big I know you the one. Get this for once. 
has got a proper prize, so get your cape. But who's got a cape? Oh, for f- sake, a bath towel will do. I'll just swirl it round my neck. And once you're getting round in a cape, in amazement they will gape. And they'll say, who's that twat? Oh, hang on, that's not really a very good way to sell this idea. Your body is a wonderland. Your body is a wonderland. Your body is a wonderland. Use my hands. Your body is a wonderland. Yeah. I'm bringing Fuck it back. Yeah. The painful condition. Fuck, fuck it back. Come here, girl. This is not doing my back any good. Fuck, fuck it back. Allegedly, someone, according to sources, soon startled observers and pals. But friends were not sure what the pals saw Sources all swore something took place But none of that was verified by insiders or observers or the pals They're about to play a Missy Higgins song Gene Simmons' tongue is a cow dung They get a sandbag and drop it from the sky Under some ghoulies who be plums is the cry Fister, double in them, fister, I'll tip. double in them Fister, double in them, fister, I'll tip. double in them Fister, fister, double in them, fister, I'll tip. double in them It's hard out there for a gimp <laughs> Sitting in a crate all day. Hustle and flow reference for anyone baffled by that. How good is this? How good is this? And this when you're having that. That's what a fool does. Taste the wild honey. Listen to the sound of the wind that's blowing through the tree. He looks like he's ready to go. He's got the zoo man. Something he's dragged off of YouTube. A sandwich. Jokes that he's cribbed from his MySpace. Now here's it. Flowers, flowers drifting by the pain. In my dreams, so sweet flower red blue or pain. Fister. 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 Time is here. One night is one more time. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Baby, I think you know me. I'm Richard Marsland, don't you know? Maybe you'd like to blow me a kiss on stone. Shaft of hope. Whatever happened to the shaft of hope? Maybe it's under Larry Oaks. He's Johnny from the block. He's the MC with all the clout. That is really what the economic debate is about. He's going to kick some ass at the upcoming election. Uh, the fundamental direction is a forward direction. He's busting some moves. He's spewing invective. Please let us have a sense of perspective. He's the dopest of leaders. He's everyone's homie. I think most of the concerns are phony. It's time to ask the question, what would Greg Fleet do? Probably come out with some nonsense, some rubbish about Camus. That's what happens when we ask. What would Greg Fleet do? It's a war called the Cavalry. To the right sits my main man, Ed Cavalry. He'll freak you out because he's young. You're a wowser. But underneath, it's my belief. You'll get relief at his bowser. Yeah, I'm with me wife. Nobody knows who I am. So I'm in the paper pretending to like football. Check on the Fister. Bombastic. Ulti. Fantastic. Put me on the box. It says I'm Fister. Nation rugged and so. will appall them over there it's nothing new we're well used to a van stone fire here banana goes mouth banana right. goes mouth east Timor's favorite drinker nation on the brink there's just time to sink one before your house is raised to the ground by a bunch of naughty kids oi it's a catchy jingle have a listen to this the time has come for to say fair's fair. 
to pay the rent. Remember for Melbourne to pay our share. Everybody knew, everybody knew, no use. Everybody knew, everybody knew, no use. Turn your smile into a frown. Turn your wardrobe upside down. Jump pants. Jump pants everywhere. And who the is impersonating a German polar bear? Sister. Fister. Something or other Something else Let's start with Bob Franklin Let's start with Bob Franklin Alright, start with Bob Franklin I am strong, strong. I am invincible Invincible I am one She's got no money After all Things if we be true, we were paying so damn who knew. I will always be a man who's open to persuasion. Oh, sorry, I went too early. I'll get the backing vocal. Na 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 na. Yesterday was it so long, and a love song, and a photograph of you singing the blues. Nothing comes easy. Everybody trying to get it all together now. Hey, let me tell you about a field of corpses burning. When it comes to etiquette, atomic mutants ain't discerning. The hills have eyes. A word to the wise, a pickaxe to the sternum is unlikely to concern him. So don't be surprised if you're thoroughly traumatized and beaten. It's just a prelude to the festival of flesh eating. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling something. This, yeah, this is, is more sad. like what we're after. The hills have eyes, everyone dies. He's under your car with a nasty surprise. I think the kids are gonna love this. What did every good Sabine Living off the synth and not the land yeah. Let's all move to town and start a synthesizer band Watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. <laughs> After all is said and done Watch me Races are not over, it's almost done You're a winner Moving violations when I move Watch me You've got the power Watch me You can take my license Watch me You've got the power You'll never take my tequila You've got the power Nice crackle <laughs> The Venga bus is coming and everybody's running from north to Ibiza in the Mediterranean sun. The Venga bus is coming and everybody's running from north to Ibiza in the Mediterranean sun. The Venga bus is coming and everybody's running from north to Ibiza in the Mediterranean sun. The Venga bus is coming, yeah, and everybody's running, yeah, from New York up to San Francisco. The Venga bus is coming, yeah, and everybody's running, yeah, it's an intercity disco. The wheels of steel are turning, the traffic lights are burning, so if you like to party, get on and move your body. The Venga bus is coming and here's what we like to do. Maybe they leave you alone, but not me. All together now. Maybe they leave you alone, but not me. Keep it emo. Maybe they leave you alone, but not me. In my dreams, I see colours red, blue, or pink. Hang you. Oh, that's, oh, that's just the first side of the album. Mm. To have that many musicians come in and out of the studio, <laughs> yeah. that was live. Ladies Brilliant and timing. Oh, played live. See, you really never know what we'll mm. play next or mm. when we'll piss off next. It is time to sign off here at the Get This oh. Desk. And usually we like to end the uh, program with a bit of crunk, crunk courtesy of Greg Fleet. He's not here most days, no. so it's very hard to do <laughs> it. Oh, hang on. I'm here today. You are here. So oh. what have you got for us, Greg? Oh, I'll just improv up some crunk. Oh, great. Have you got <laughs> some beats there? Boom! Sure, Nice. Boom, boom. It's the end of an era. Bloody Vera. Hard to think about the future when the end is growing nearer. They say they want more music, so I offer up Camus and ask myself the question, what would Sartre do? 
Sometimes we dress up. It was the way to go. The only guys dumb enough to dress for radio. Caftans. We watch Charles dance. I lose our jeans to know the joys of wearing jumper pants. The shanks ain't sunk. He ain't no punk. You say you want some hip hop. He brings a double crunk. Bang the drums, add the sums. Mind the cheese, great oh me plums. So now it's over. We're only just starting. The Cavalry, the Armitage, the Tony, the Martin. But don't despair, we'll make another show that will cause your plums to blister. And if this proves to be untrue, I'm not Otto Fister. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. There was actually a rhyme in there. Just This is just for Cav. The radio that makes the other shows invalid and the only show with a man who eats three tons of salad. Oh, oh, oh. Accurate crunk. What a treat. <laughs> so many people to thank. Obviously, all of our wonderful co-hosts. If you yes. want to know who they are, check out the podcast. Yes. They're up there till December 31st. Right. So many people at the Triple M's around the mm, network. We've got to bunch. thank anyone pretty much who works under the Triple M flag. Thank you all. Uh, I'd particularly like to thank Peter Harvey and Sue Winter, Ooh, Lee Simon yeah. and Jill Ooh, Good, yeah. Damien, Sophie and Stu in the creative department. Okay. Every Everyone in promotions, including those that have been hit on by Ian Cavalier. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All of you. It comes with the territory. Yeah. And what about the knob jockeys around the network? Haven't they done thank a fantastic job? Oh, yeah. Thank you all very much. So many people. Richard, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Oh, I'd like to thank you, Tony. Oh, it's all right. No, Richard. if you don't treat. mind, just because uh, when I started with you, uh, I'd just been uh, fired by... <laughs> this very network. This very network. And so uh, thanks for showing so much faith in me. Uh, sincerely, it's uh, every day is inspiring and challenging Represent. and hilarious. And uh, it's been an honour work. I've wanted to work with you for half my life, so this really is a big deal wow. for me. He has been stalking me for a long <laughs> yeah, time. Beautiful so, work. It's all thanks, paid Tone. off. It's very true, Tone. Well, yeah. well Tone, said. people ask me the story of Get This. Oh, you yes. know, this is the this is the main thing that I hear. Sure. And uh, so now I'm going to step into the archives and, and the, the story of Get This as I saw it. Okay. Oh, yes. Just push those sandwiches out, yes. of, the <laughs> out of the way. Wraps. I, n- I don't need you anymore. One day the phone rang. It was Tony asking me if I wanted to do a radio show with yes. him. I asked him what it would be like, and he said it would be cheap. Nasty and downright boring. I said, fantastic. <laughs> Tony came over to my place. There's Chuck everywhere and the seats are disgusting. And graffiti mm. is, graffiti yeah, the, is the worst. Yeah. And over lunch of... Vegetables. And <laughs> shorts. We agreed and get this started on air. The pay was terrific. Thousands of Viagra tablets, the male sex stimulant and other so-called lifestyle drugs, <laughs> slimming pills and steroids. But most of all, I got to work with the best radio talent from here to... Bolivia, is it? <laughs> Bolivia. People always say don't meet your heroes because they're just normally... Oh, for a bastard adrift in a blizzard of cocaine. <laughs> Not so with you, Tony Martin. I get to work with someone every day I looked up to for so long in an environment of generosity, encouragement and fistfuls of... Lavender. <laughs> So thanks, Tony, and to a lesser extent, Richard, for the chance of a lifetime to work on a show that can only be described as... Cheap, nasty, and downright boring. Oh, thanks, guys. Look, I've got quite a few thank yous to get through. Obviously, our buster on board producer, Nikki Hamilton. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for keeping the insight mind fully stoked, and I know you'll be pleased to hear I am now available for meetings. So there's a treat. There so the genius, Matt Dow, I say treat yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treat yourself, mate. Yeah. Take the rest of the afternoon off. Well, because we do have to be in here. Afternoon. Well, we're going to be in here early on Monday to start on the podcast, yes. obviously. To Cecilia on the phone. Oh, bang, oh. bang, Thank you. Know. Thank you for keeping the uh, filth at bay and the junior pots and pans <laughs> on the boil. Cecilia is still available to call us on 1800 Home yeah. Alone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wow. hey. your heart. To Richard Mars, and well, what can I say that hasn't mm. already been licentiously appended to your own Wikipedia page or Exhibit <laughs> A, as I understand they call it down at Lotion Squad headquarters? <laughs> I'm a tall Sean. <laughs> no matter what the occasion, always the right sound grab. Well, there we are. For example, oh, lucky he was drinking. I'll be. Sh- <laughs> he will be. I'll be joining you for a farmers' union later this oh, evening. Yes. That's if you're not head down on that replica of Matthew McConaughey. Oh! As always, and finally, Ed Cavalier. Two years and still no evidence of these panelling skills you've mentioned in the application. (laughs) But certainly the biggest laughs I've ever had on radio. Seriously, to my ears, the Get This podcast is just 40 minutes of me giggling like a loon at your endless parade of broken promises, butchered karaoke standards, ill-rehearsed segments, elaborate theories about smorgasbord, indiscreet bombshells about surely soon-to-be (laughs) ex-housemates, criminal accounts of video (laughs) clerk behaviour, claims that this is Nicole Kidman. (laughs) 
Not to mention your lascivious delight in Britney's tumble into gutter bound hotness. Constant assertions that you are someone called Richard and not someone called Millsy. Your fathomless ragtag fleet of relatives, tales of girlfriends just a bit too keen on their own dads. Enough rap soups and manjo to fuel that bloke you're always going on about who has to be craned from his house and fed with a bit of sandwich on a stick without any apparent sense of irony. And of course, the many, many things you've left downstairs in the office. It's the main reason I come in every day and I'll see you at the bar, although I have promised your mum you'll be home by 10 in, as I understand you're moving to a new family. <laughs> yeah, I've been voted out of my own. Tony, where do we even start? You're the best. I don't know. Can as I just say, as a, as a guest on the show, to all of you, it's been an absolute treat to be involved with this show. And... It, it's the only time in my life I've loved coming to work in uh, in radio. You know, it's, well, except when I was working for Fitzy. Obviously, uh, Fitzy. Uh, Fitzy's here, mate. Seems the whole staff at Triple M. Thank you all very much for being here. Okay, it's nice to see you all here. Some of you girls must be single. Stick around. <laughs> what? Thank you, everybody. And obviously, two momentous events have occurred today. There's mm-hmm. some sort of election coming up. We're not interested yeah, in that. Uh, firstly, our producer, Nikki, has given birth to a child just 20 minutes before job, our last Nikki. show. Good, Good job. job. The, death, the death of Keep the show, coming. the birth of a child. And equally momentous, Mick, one of our callers. You remember the man who is going to get Rex Hunt tattooed on his ass? A fitting tribute. He's had it done yesterday. He'll be bringing it to the party tonight. Wow. 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 I don't think we can top those two bombshells, so it simply remains for me to say case closed, and here endeth the sizzle. We're actually on air. Were you aware of that? <laughs> I am. And you're meant to be panelling this thing, aren't I, you? Look, I still maintain I did a great job in the test show. And I should point out, by the way, that we're broadcasting from uh, the most technically unreliable studio <laughs> in the network, the Haunted Studio. There you go. Tom Gleisner, give him a round beer. Hey. Thank you. Tony, I've got to say, it is just the first take a moment here. It is a thrill to hear you back on air and back saying the phrase triple M. <laughs> the last time... I heard you utter those words. You were sitting in the back of a Black Thunder Jeep wearing a suede bomber jacket, <laughs> handing out boxes of tacos whose use by date had expired in 1982 and urging listeners to stay around for another concrete blonde double oh shot. Oh, my God. Concrete and now, blonde. now, here we are again. The circle has turned. A singer in a smoky room. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> smell of wine and cheap perfume. Mr. Howard. I've used the analogy. It's like a highly calibrated Formula One motor racing car driving at a fast pace. You'll have a crash. Antenna is currently ticking. Wow! It's the election community. He's got an impressive set of man boobs. Yes, he has. He's flapped top pair. Thank you, Mike Sexton. <laughs> Very strange when people get shy all of a sudden, isn't it? Like a porno <laughs> actress with tan lines. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Howard, I hope you're enjoying Richard Marsland's genital sponge bath. I think he's been incredibly generous, and I thank him very warmly. Paul McCartney sort of up there, like that. Who's the one who's down like that? That's, That's John Lennon. Which, Which is George good. Harrison? And I want George Harrison. <laughs> I <laughs> Ringo. The Frat Controller said hello to Thomas the. Yeah, no, that's not right. Thomas the Tank Engine, Canberra. That's what that is. <laughs> I reckon Tony Bullimore is sexually aroused by being <laughs> rescued from yachting accidents. I need a shower. If something goes wrong, we bust out the emergency <laughs> jokes and everybody gets hurt. <laughs> Tony, do we talk now? What are you oh. doing? What? It's meant to be like the end of The Sopranos. I didn't see it. Just leaving people hanging. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Jeez, what we're not going to get a take two of that. Well, my car parking space runs out in about 10 minutes, so we should probably just... You got out. a car space? We'll go and hang out with the lady who walks backwards anyway. She's hot. She's walking away from me, actually. So many things we never got I to know. talk about on here. How does Richard really live his life? No, that was never Actually, explained. can yeah. I come round, Rich? No, not this weekend. Why? Well, no, All won't. cannibalism weekend, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Right. That's what I wanted to talk about. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Like, did he become a cannibal just because it rhymed with Hannibal? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the rhyming scheme that appealed to him? Yeah, if his name was... Jeff, he would have been a oh, cleftomaniac. <laughs> a cleftomaniac? What is that? 
Uh, <laughs> Someone who just loves a bit of builder's cleavage. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I've gone all cleft, though. Yeah, can't help myself. Hang on, is that... Aren't we supposed to be picked up out here? Where is it? What are we... Oh, here it comes. Oh. Hey! Hey, it goes. Oh, wow! wow. What's that? Hey! Look at that. It's just like I imagined it, huh? Covered in chuck. Let's see if we can get the back seats, and we've got to talk about what's Nicky going to call this baby. I mean, uh, what's the first words of this baby going to be? And Richard, no, no, no. give me some food. Let me suck your breast. No, no, no. Uh, which way is this bus going, guys? Uh, north. To Ibiza. <laughs> the Venga bus is coming. <laughs> No, that wasn't funny at all.